Rally fever hits Austria. Classic meets modern. At the renowned Silvretta Classic Rally in Montefon, Austria, top-of-the-line cutting-edge vehicles of the future drove amongst the vintage cars that typically compete in this mountain race. The impressive lineup of 24 electric cars runs across the gamut, from concept cars to production vehicles, ranging from small inner city cars to super sports cars. The organizer, German car magazine, Auto, Motor and Sport was pleased. I was asked by the Ilwerke, they have um, a big test here in, in uh, the Montafon and Vorarlberg with electric with e cars and they asked well, whether we could uh, organize or not uh, such a rally and I said it's, we have the facilities here, we have everything and uh, the e-rally is fitting very well uh, to the historic cars because in 1900 there were more electric cars than cars with gasoline or diesel engines. So we have a history and we have modern uh, and future cars here. The German automaker Daimler brought the largest group of vehicles to the starting line and Dr. Thomas Weber, head of research and development, personally piloted the Mercedes-Benz super sports car at the rally. With these uh, three different cars we can demonstrate to the public how advanced we are in our uh, e-drive and that, uh, alternative drivetrain program, three smarts, e-cell, uh, B-class with fuel cell drive and the star of this rally, our AMG SLS with e-drive possibilities. Great to have such a portfolio. We can demonstrate and we will demonstrate future has started now. Bright sunshine and perfect weather during all three days of the event provided the ideal conditions for this challenging drive. The fluorescent yellow SLS E-Cell, or what Mercedes calls AMG Lumilectric Magno, stood out, not only because of its luminescent color. Still fantastic. Uh, emotional feeling, quiet. You feel you are sitting in a future-oriented car, and that's one of the targets and one of our goals, to convince the public that future still will be uh, emotional. The technology vehicle for Mercedes-AMG recently took its maiden voyage in Norway. At the E-Rally in Montefon, the high-voltage Gullwing is now facing its motorsports challengers. Well, we have a four-wheel driven car and with four electric motors, uh, one on each wheel. We have uh, obviously a four-wheel four -wheel drive uh, uh, built in the car and um, with uh, the power output of 392 kilowatts and 880 newton meters, we're far on the upper end uh, of uh, super, super sports cars. According to the head of AMG, Ola Kalenios, here at the first e-rally ever, the SLS e-cell, easily keeps up with a V8-powered SLS AMG. Well, if you have a, an electro car with 530 horsepower and 880 Newton meters of torque, it doesn't matter if you go uphill or downhill, the performance is there. Well, the great thing is that when you go up and down the mountain, you can really do recuperation, which means that going downhill, you actually save electricity. Even braking recoups energy, a principle also applied to the Mercedes-Benz B-Class, powered by a fuel cell. The all-electric Mercedes Compact has a range of up to 400 kilometers or 250 miles. Chris Horn, head of global communications at Mercedes-Benz, took to the helm of the B-Class fuel cell. An electric car is even easier to drive than a regular car because you only have one gear. It's just, you know, either the gas pedal or the brake, and that's it. So they're easy to drive. And the mountains here are quite challenging because uh, you have very steep slopes, but because of the torque and the power of electric vehicles, it's also easy to handle. And as an added benefit, if you drive downwards, downhill, you can recuperate energy back into the battery. 33 degrees Celsius or close to 100 degrees Fahrenheit and plenty of sunshine make driving convertibles a pleasure, like the Smart for Two electric drive that performed superbly on the mountain roads and made it easily over the finish line. Driver and navigator were equally excited. There's a big difference. Uh, first of all, because of the sound, you know, you're driving nearly soundless. It's really cool. It's amazing. It's very unusual to drive an electric car in these conditions in this uh, mountain area. It's uh, very amazing to drive and it's, yeah, it's a lot of fun. On the demanding course, 
High up on the Silvretta Alpine Road, drivers and vehicles were equally challenged. At the final award ceremony, almost everybody was a winner in one category or another. I think we will have a next uh, electric vehicle car rally because today we are driving only small distances, 60 kilometers per day. So uh, I think next year it will be longer and uh, for sure we will have more electric vehicles here. The overall success of the rally has paved the way for future e-rallies to come.